Hello everyone, today I thought I would do the Halloween book tag as it is Halloween weekend and I am really excited for Halloween, it is my favourite time of year. So I thought I would give this tag a go and see what answers I come up with. You've probably also noticed I'm in a different location, I decided to use my Halloween table as my background today because it just looks much better for this video than my normal bookcase. So yeah, we are here today. So the first question is carving pumpkins. What book would you carve up and light on fire? Now for this book, I don't like saying this about any books because obviously I love reading, but for this one I decided to go with Dancer by Colin McCann. And this is because there was just so much unnecessary swearing throughout this. This is based on a true story, I get that, but it just made me not enjoy it as much because there was just too much swearing. It was like every sentence was just swearing in it and it was just a bit unnecessary to have that much in it so yeah it would have to be this one. Number two, trick or treat. A character that is a trick and a character that is a treat. So for the character as a treat I decided to go with Baz from Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I absolutely love Baz, he is one of my favourite characters now favourite fictional characters, I completely love him and he is definitely my favourite character from this book. He is just so mysterious, so funny, so witty and I just adored him. And the trick character is someone you either hate to love or love to hate and for this I went with a character from Elmer and Park and that is Park's stepdad. I love to hate this character, he is horrible, he is such an evil nasty character and you just can't not hate him, he is horrible. So yeah, I love to hate this character because I love Park and I don't like seeing him upset and seeing him get hurt. Number three is a book that's always sweet. And for this one I went with Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. This is just such a cosy read, the locations are really cosy and warm and lovely and the characters are just adorable. And the story is just so sweet and I could read this at any time of year. I actually quite like reading this around Christmas time because it just makes me feel so warm and cosy. It's not necessarily a Christmas book at all. There is a Christmas novella to it though which I will probably read again this year. But this isn't actually a Christmas book but I just find it so cosy and perfect to curl up with a blanket and a cup of tea. Number four is ghosts. Which character would you like to visit you as a ghost? Now for this one I've picked a character that is actually dead. He died in this series. So if you have not read the Harry Potter series, definitely skip forward. I will leave a time on the screen where you can skip to if you've not read the Harry Potter series or seen it so you don't get spoiled. But for this I have definitely had to go with Snape from the Harry Potter series because honestly he is one of my favourite characters and his death was the hardest for me and he is just the perfect character. He has, even though he's not, I mean to me he's a brilliant character, he's a good character to me even, but I know a lot of people see him as a bad character or a good character or somewhere just in between. I still see him as a good character, I can't help it, and his backstory is so beautiful. And because he has such an interesting past, he gives out so much good advice and he would just be really good to talk to. Number five is dressing up in costume. Personally, my favourite thing about Halloween. What character would you like to be for the day? Now, to be honest, any fictional character would be great. It would be so cool to get into all of these fictional characters' heads and see how they think and how they go about their day. It would just be really fun. But there were two characters that came to mind for this one. The first one is again from the Harry Potter series, not this book. I just haven't got the other book close to hand, so we're going to use this one for now. But it is Luna from the Harry Potter series. I adore Luna. I would love to be Luna for a day. She's just so unique and so individual and I just love it. She's so different and that is why I'd like to be her for the day. And the second character that came to mind for this question was Anne from Anna Green Gables. Now Anne is just so happy and so positive and bubbly and funny and she has such a vivid imagination and her imagination is one of the main reasons I would love to be here for the day because my imagination isn't really that great and I love to have this imagination she has, so being Anne for a day would just be perfect. Number six is witches and wizards. Which is your favourite Harry Potter moment? Now this, to be honest, was actually quite easy for me. Now I know this would be quite hard for a lot of people because, to be honest, any Harry Potter moment is amazing. 
even if it's emotionally traumatising, it's still brilliant. But for me, it always has to be in The Philosopher's Stone when Harry first goes into Diagon Alley. It is the first sort of look at the magic side of things in quite big terms because obviously I know we have Hagrid before that and Dumbledore and things but for Harry to see all of that magic all in one place it is just perfect and so magical and you really get this warm feeling of this is where the series starts, this is where the story really starts. So that is the perfect moment for me. And the final question is Blood and Gore. Which book was so creepy you had to take a break from it for a while? For this I had to go with Six Suspects by Vicar Svarup. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing his name right but we're gonna go with it. This was because it's not necessarily creepy but the violent scenes are so violent and so gruesome it just got a bit too much in some places and I was like, this is making me feel sick now. This is horrible. So that would be why for this book, not because it creeped me out, just because it was so gory in places. I was like, no, this is too much. I need to stop for a bit. So yeah, that was the perfect answer for this question for me. That is it now for the Halloween book tag. I have so enjoyed doing this. Halloween is my favourite time of year, like I said before. I just love it so much. And if you've done this tag, then please let me know. I'd love to watch all of your videos too. And if you haven't done this tag, then I tag you as well, because why not? Give it a go and let me see what your answers to these questions would be, as that might also give me some recommendations. So that is it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye!